So now I'll be moving on to skewness. Remember that measures of central tendency attempt to summarize sets of data as accurately as possible. Some examples of measures of central tendency that I've already gone over are things like mean, median, and mode. Each of these seek to summarize data sets with many numbers with a single value. So now skewness. Skewness is basically how a distribution of data leans, and it can be something like this. One of these is normally distributed, that means it has no skew. One of these is skewed to the left, and one of these is skewed to the right, and I'm going to show you which ones. First of all, this one is a symmetrical distribution. It has no skew, which means that the mean exists perfectly at the center. So if you were to draw a box plot, it would probably look something like that, with everything fairly balanced. This kind of distribution is skewed to the right, so the mean is actually pulled to the left from the center. And, and that's because this is what a box plot will look for this kind of data. Now this last distribution is skewed to the left, which means that the mean is going to be pulled to the right from the center. And this is what a box plot will look for this kind of data. Now this doesn't seem important now, but it's important to recognize skewness because once we start doing hypothesis, test, hypothesis testing, it's going to be very important. And that's all for this lecture. Just understand what skewness is and what graphs look like when they're either skewed to the left or to the right or not at all.